Hello everyone, my name is Duke and welcome back to another episode of Ask Us Anything or Aua, where we gather your questions from the internet and answer them. In today's episode, we will be answering why some cars don't come with a spare tire and wireless broadband internet plan with ample data for a family. But before I ask Lokman to cue the intro, I would like to announce that we are looking for people to join the Soya Chincha family. There's an opening for videographer and editor, which is Lokman job. Then we have a social media manager and BM tech writer. If any of these positions caught your attention, you can find more information with the link in the description or with the card up top. Now, Lokman, cue the intro. But first, We'll start with a question regarding external storage drives. Looking for NVMe SSD with adapter for external use. Any RKMD? The Soya Chincha team uses an ADATA XPG 1TB NVMe SSD with 3500MB per second read and 3000MB per second write with a 1GB of DRAM cache. It is then housed in an M.2 NVMe SSD enclosure from Orico. The links for both devices will be listed in the description below. Moving on to a question from one of our BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe TikTok videos. Where's the spare tire? Do they not give spare tires in expensive vehicles? Well, the spare tire and the jack take up precious space in the car, typically eating into boot space and adding additional weight. So, in the case of this BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe, it is fitted with a run-flat tire. These kinds of tires have a reinforced sidewall to hold up the tire when there is a loss of air pressure caused by a puncture. Therefore, you don't need to stop to patch the tire or swap with a spare. However, you will be restricted to a speed of 80 km per hour and have a limited range before the reinforced sidewall start to lose structural rigidity. You can check with your mechanic about the condition of your run-flat tires to see if they can be patched and reused. But in most cases, you will be recommended to get a new one. While run-flat tires are more convenient if you have a flat, they are more expensive to replace. So, a cheaper alternative would be a tire repair kit, which is sold as an optional accessory by BMW and is included as standard in cars like the Honda City RS and Nissan Serena here in Malaysia. The pump injects air and sealant into the tyre which clogs the puncture hole as long as the hole is less than 4mm in diameter. You are then limited to a speed of 80 km an hour and a range of 100 km as outlined by the Automobile Association. Now, depending on the type of sealant you used, you can either wash it away and patch the hole or it cannot be washed away and you need to change to a new tyre because the chemicals in the sealant will mess with the integrity of the tyre. As for the tyre repair kit, you will need to buy new sealant fluid as it can be only used once per tyre. For example, Honda sells an instant tyre repair kit which retails for 100 ringgit and is water-based so it can be washed away. The link to check it out will be in the description. Moving on to the last question for this episode. My family is using a plan for 150GB with 1TB for streaming, but it's still not enough and I estimate that I need 300GB excluding the 1TB streaming. Best internet plan for family, Wi-Fi or hotspot without fiber? So, based on your description, I assume that you're using the now discontinued Cellcom Home Wireless Platinum which was later renamed to Cellcom Home Wireless XL. Since wireless broadband depends heavily on 4G coverage, it is better to stick with Cellcom if you're happy with the reception. Cellcom now offers a family ultimate wireless broadband plan with 300GB of internet quota for 139 ringgit, and you can add up to 40GB of additional data for 70 ringgit. So, you have a total of 340 gigabyte a month for the whole family. However, you will lose your one terabyte of video streaming data. Alternatively, you can check out Unify Air wireless broadband plan. It comes with unlimited data capped at 20 megabits per second and is available for 70 ringgit per month with a 100 ringgit upfront payment. But you will first need to check if your area is under Unify's coverage. I will leave a link in the description to their coverage map. 
that's it for this episode. Remember to like the video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to get the latest news on almost everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next AUA! Bye-bye!